Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. I am shuffling six cards from three different decks and I'm going to choose three of them. They will dictate what perspective we will look at first here, either masculine or feminine perspective. These are Emperor and Empress cards. So our first card is the Emperor. Our second card is the Emperor. So it looks like we're going to be looking at the masculine perspective. The third card is Empress. So since we have two Emperors out of three, we're gonna be looking at the masculine perspective first, and then we'll move into the feminine perspective. Okay, Scorpio? All right, so. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot deck, and they are double-sided. So we will look at the masculine's perspective and then flip the cards over to view the feminine's perspective. This is not gender specific, so I will be using the pronouns he and she. He to refer to the masculine, she to refer to the feminine, but it is not gender specific. Just know what role you play and go with that. And that means the other person is the other role. Okay. It just makes it easier to use he and she to uh, relay the message to you all. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please give me the masculine perspective of the current situation that Scorpio is dealing with. Okay, um, Scorpio feels like, well, the masculine feels like, um, the feminine has put him to rest. Hmm, I have death. This is your card, Scorpio. But I feel like the feminine's having a good time without the masculine. At least that's what the masculine feels. It almost like he's being forced to let her go. Here. She's back there dancing. He's he's mourning and putting uh flowers here at a gravesite. But the feminine is dancing with the sun. The, the masculine feels like the feminine is having a good time without him here even though the relationship is over. All right, um, King of Swords. Uh, he, there's something the masculine wants to say. I don't think the feminine would like to hear it or he, okay, I think the masculine is, um, is not happy here. It's like he wants to say something and it might come off very uh, cold. It's like he's not happy that the feminine is just moving on without him here. Uh, this is what I'm getting. Six of Pentacles. It's like he wants to give, guys. Oh, wow. The card just fell. I don't know. I feel like it was pulled out of my hand. He's contemplating how he can like make an offer that's going to be acceptable. The, the masculine is planning, right? It's like wanting to offer the house, the, the, the car, the boat, trying to figure out how to make enough money to offer the feminine everything. You, listen, um, this person is trying to figure a way to bring this back, okay? Honestly, I feel like it's disingenuine. It just feels like he wants this back because he sees her like doing good without him. Trying to figure it is out. Trying to see how he can give, how he can offer. And then temperance. All right. Um, he actually understands though. He knows he has to be patient. I'm going to turn my heater on because I'm cold. Um, he knows that he has to be patient here. 
He can't force this. He knows he can't force it. He's going to have to be patient. Um, he does want to force it. Okay, some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you could be dealing with Sagittarius. This is taking a lot out of the masculine to not approach the feminine. So this is not easy. He wants to say something. So here's what I'm getting. I'm getting a sense of anxiety. Okay. Like feeling like he might lose her and that she might be okay without him. This is scaring the living crap out of him. Remember, it is not gender specific. I'm just using him to relay the message easier for the masculine. Um, this is taking, okay, so what's happening is there's this kind of mutation, okay, within the masculine. He, he's, he's learning self-control here. Uh, it's hard to the point where I feel like he thinks he needs to scheme. Okay, so this may not be like with ill intent is more out of de desperation, if that makes sense. Okay, let me keep going. Yeah, the the feminine looks like he feels like the feminine is moving away. Six of swords and his life will be, be her life may end up being better without him. He's scared about that. I can tell you right now. And then we have, wow, Six of Cups. Yeah, the two of you will be communicating again. I see. Uh, I see a coming back. I see both of you waving at each other. Both of you are still thinking about one another. Thinking about the past. We got three sixes here, y'all. Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Six of Cups. Um... There's a balance that will happen here. I mean, this is what the masculine is wanting anyway. He's wanting this relationship to balance back out, to have that same sense of harmony that it's had in the past. Um, it's not over. I can tell you that. This is not over. Um, it just feels like it is. Ten of Cups. But the Ten of Cups is very, it's gloomy. The happy ending that you all are wanting, what well, he's wanting, he, he does doubt it right now. Wow. I actually see the Ace of Cups here. In this deck, this is uh, the image on the Ace of Cups. So it's like after the darkness, you get to your new beginning here. That's where the light shines at the ace. So this is what um, the masculine wants. It just seems very far away to him. Okay. Um, communication will be, yeah, there's going to be some communication. He wants to communicate. Mm. For those of you who are not in communication with him. Eight of Wands. Please tell me more about Eight of Wands. I don't know if somebody's traveling. That yeah, he he's you are on the brain. Oh my God, that's all he could think about. Your the first card was was uh you, Scorpio, and then uh clarifying communication is death again, Scorpio. And then we have yeah. Scorpio <laughs> King of Cups wanting to communicate to um, so if this is you the masculine I see that you want to communicate however if um, you are feminine and you are the Scorpio the masculine wants to communicate to you I feel like there's something stopping it, though. Oh, I see why. 
uh, masculine has a lot going on, things that needs to be let go of. Okay, masculine has things that needs to be let go of, guys. Heavy loads, carrying them. Yeah, um, there's changes that need to happen here in order for communication to come in and for it to, oh, like, for it to stick. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yes, yes, yes. It's here. It's here. The Ace of Cups. This is going to, after, like, the tough times, uh, it's going to come back. But he does not feel the feminine's energy. She has her back to him. This is the Ace of Cups. He wants this... Uh, renewal with you very attracted to you this here is exactly the card i'm sorry the image that i see up here you see the ace of cups at it's like way over yonder but the feminine's view shows that so the feminine knows that this is coming back so you see how this is the masculine's view and way over there he feels like it's very far away but that's where the sun will shine for him or the sun rises okay um this is his view he sees the feminine's backside here he's not really um feeling any kind of emotions from coming from the feminine even though that's what he wants i see this coming back um, to start brand new, there are some things that need to be like certain habits need to be let go of here. Death is showing up twice. Uh, to get this to restart in a better way where things actually work out, I feel like it needs to it needs to restart. Okay, what am I trying to say here? In order for things to work out you need to basically start from scratch and it needs to be done differently because there's a balance trying to happen. I mean, 10 of cups, ace of cups. We have communication. We have the two thinking about one another. Uh, masculine is working on some things, trying to fix some things here, guys. Oh, next card, waiting. Waiting. Three of Wands waiting for the right time. What is your overall energy? Oh, yeah, he's waiting. He's not giving up. So the masculine has not given up on this. I don't know. Um, there's some kind of sense of intimidation in a sense. It's like wanting to express, wanting to talk, but holding holding himself back for whatever reason, waiting for the right time. And this is divinely orchestrated. It's really just not time yet. And then finally, oh yeah, this is coming back, y'all. This is coming back together. Um, I see a renewal here with judgment. Uh, I see the two coming back together. I do. Um, there's, there's a... Um, opportunity to redo this and do it right there is i mean that's what i see it's just death here twice lets me know there are certain patterns in the past that has to be like annihilated and redone and rebuilt masculine has things in his life that he has to let go of um and stop allowing to affect him he knows that okay he knows that so this is what i'm getting there will be communication soon and the two, the masculine does a lot of thinking about the feminine. Almost like he wants to go get her. But he's restraining himself. Self-control. He needs self-control. Um, every now and again, I feel like he's trying to scheme up a plan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's, that's, that's what I got. For masculine, let's go ahead and get into the feminine's view here. 
yeah, she's just walked away from destruction. She's seeing now, she's seeing things in a more passionate way. I mean, there is fire coming out of the this horse's eyes. It's a flame there. Gone through a transformation there. Yeah. I feel like she's not really um, focused too much on the masculine. Not as much as these cards. Not as much as the masculine is focused on her. Uh, the feminine has other things on the, on the brain. Uh, I see a recent change for the feminine here. So uh, let me turn these cards over so that I don't forget which ones I didn't turn over. Yeah, feminine's looking at things in a different way. I see that she's stronger. I mean, all of these cards, I'm just getting the back. There's a lot of things that the feminine has been able to leave in the past, walk away from, no longer allowed to affect her. Okay, you see the backside of all of these cards. And then she's stronger here. The lion there. She's seeing things in a more clear, truthful manner here with the ego it's like strength and truth the the past is the past that's why death is here the the feminine has gone through transformations she's giving to herself um i notice these planets here on the back of this uh, I see somebody shifting S somebody's really in tune well the feminine is really in tune with the universe like with the planetary alignment and the the changes that are happening it's like being in touch with herself Moving away from things that just don't serve her. Yeah, so the, the feminine has uh, been able to move along and um, experience things in a better way. I feel like she did kind of leave the masculine behind for a while. He feels like she left and, he, you know, she's gone. He wants to come along. She took her cup and left. He's still there. I don't know if she's aware that he's there or he's trying to come back or wanting to come along uh, because this is the masculine's view, communicating. This is the feminine's view, it's like cricket. So uh, I feel like there's no communication, but there's wanting it here. Uh, you know, deep down she wants it. It's like she's up in arms. Where's my communication? Um, even though at the same time she's trying to move on along. So, Ten of Cups here. Yeah, Feminine wants a reunion here. Ten of Cups. This is a mess. He feels like it's going to be hard. She's just waiting for it. Waiting for the right time. All Ten Cups are standing. And there's a reunion happening here, guys. This is meant to come back. It's just, I feel like there was just some things that had to be touched up here. Okay, because masculine's wanting, communi wanting to communicate. Uh, there's still some kind of break in communication thunders here. There's still a reason why you can't communicate with the feminine masculine. There's a reason why the masculine cannot communicate with the feminine. I don't know. I mean, the masculine is still holding this heavy load. Wow, I just saw it again when I went like this. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, here it is. The masculine is still holding this heavy load. Um, eight of Wands. One of these Eight of Wands here. Well, these cards keep going back. See, he can't make the offer. I just saw the pen, page of pentacles. He's not in a position where he can make a serious offer yet, y'all. 
still holding on to you, but there's still things you got to let go of. Still carrying some kind of heavy load. Yep. It's still on his back. And you know it. You see it. You see the load. He feels it. He don't see the load, but he can feel the load on his back. You see that load. And you know it's there. Okay. Oh, baby. There's things that got to be let go of. I feel like he's letting go of it, but there's still some uh, negative habits, patterns that got to go. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, guys. So I don't know if the masculine has some kind of um, relationship from the past that he's still dealing with. If that's that heavy load, we got three tens here. The masculine may have some kind of issue going on with another, like a, a an ex or a family situation that still needs to be let go of. It's a devil here. Some of you could be dealing with Capricorn. Um, he, there's a reason why he can't communicate, y'all. There's a load he's carrying something. Oh, look at this. I ain't noticed this was here. When this, where'd this come from? Okay. This is wanting to invest. Feminine wants the masculine to invest. Wants him to put in the work. She's waiting. It's been a long time though. I feel like, I feel like feminine has been waiting for a while here. All right. That Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, y'all. Uh, there's a victory here. You'll be able to let it go. You got the last six. You got all sixes. Oh, man. You got all five sixes. This is 15. One, five, six. There's a victory over whatever negative attachment the masculine has. He wins this one. It's a victory. Literally, all the sixes in the deck are here. There's going to be some changes, y'all. Yeah. Uh, sooner than later. That's why the ace of... Oh, that's why the ace is here. All right, he's in the process right now of releasing a negative attachment. The death has already occurred for the feminine. It's happening for the masculine. Six of pentacles, he'll be able to give. Six of Swords, the two of you will be able to move forward and learn from the experience. Six of Cups, the two of you will come back. There's reconciliation here. Six of Wands, this is a victory over the six. Devil energy, y'all. All right, this is a direct message for you. Just know that things are happening. It's in motion. It's in motion. So you've been giving the masculine your back, feminine. Well, there's about to be a new beginning here. Ace of Cups. Overflow in love here. Masculine is very attracted to you. Finds you to be very, um, I guess, sexy, I guess. Masculine thinks you're very beautiful, feminine. Um... There's a balance happening. Yep. I do see yin and yang. Uh, the mixture of what's been going on in your life versus his or together with the masculines. Um, and I'm speaking to feminines here. Each of you had to go on your own to work on whatever issues you had going on in your lives to bring this back. Then you can build, rebuild together. This has been a long time here, but I do see the two of you coming back. Yep. I do see that, guys. Um, shining bright for y'all. The eagle flying over this connection. Bringing it back. So it's just, there are things that had to be done Soon, I'm hearing soon. Okay, so just be patient. Temperance is here. Just be patient. This does come back if if this is uh, over overcame. This is like the key 
letting go of negative patterns okay scorpio and i'm not pulling any more cards that's that's it there's no extended for this i'm just doing the purpose of this is so that y'all could see both sides of the situation here uh masculine has some kind of family situation from the past that needs to uh, dissolve okay feminine has been strong throughout this all right um that's it y'all okay i hope this was helpful i'm doing a compatibility report there's more information on that after this it, it's helpful to let you know the role the person is playing how the two of you can make it work you know uh, so there's more information about that after this thank you all for watching i hope that this was helpful i'll see you next time this is a sample of the compatibility report and what this report does is it connects the energy of two individuals and explain what you experience when you are together. So this basically tells you the areas that are easy and or challenging in the relationship. The compatibility report explains how your relationship will be experienced by both of you. So each of you separately, individually. It helps you understand and become more aware of the role the person is playing in your life. This report is not used only for romantic connections, but it can also be used for business partnerships and other relationship dynamics. So it would require the date of birth of each person. It'll let you know if you're dealing with a karmic relationship, if the connection is a past life connection. So it's specific and it's supposed to help you understand the role this person plays in your life. So if you are interested in one of these reports, the information is in the description box.